might think they're creepy, but bats play a crucial role in our ecosystem. The problem, a mysterious fungus is traveling through right now. It's called white nose syndrome. It's killing off a lot of them. What can we do about this? Why do we care? Robert Meese is a bat biologist and the director of the Bat Zone at the Cranebrook Institute of Science and does not fight crime. <laughs> is that correct, sir? <laughs> Oh, I'll fight crime. You will fight crime. Okay, I was thinking that the bats would a do real that. real life Batman. So what is this white nose syndrome, and why is it affecting bats? Well, white nose syndrome is a, is a fungus that we think was introduced from Europe, and it's killed up to an estimated million bats in nine states. Well, now it, a lot of people think, well, that's okay, because yeah, bats are scary. Exactly, and that's what our organization for bat conservation does, is try to teach people. This little bat is a local bat. You were just saying, this is the kind of bat, right? You right, see? we have those flying over our house. we got to be able right. to see that on camera. Every night. Right. Yeah, and, uh, and, and what's, what, what's so important about them? Well, I know they come out and I see them chewing on bugs. Yeah, so I'm feeding them an insect right now. Oh, bats right. are the primary predators of nighttime insects, and they eat tons of agricultural crop pests. So this is, this is a rescued bat, and that's why we have him uh, at Cranbrook Institute of Science. And this bat, unfortunately, uh, was injured, but if it was flying around, it would eat moths and beetles all night. Right. Thousands right. of insects. So it's important to the ecosystem. Right. And one thing I was asking you in the break, and I have on gloves because I'm scared and also <laughs> right. because I might hold it, um, but, but I'm, I'm wondering, are they like frogs, where you start to see First in frogs, when junk's going on in water, which is right. not good for our ecosystem. Right. There's uh, about a thousand species of bats worldwide. There's 45 different species of bats in the mm -hmm. United States. Seven of them in the United States are either threatened or endangered. A lot of it has to do with habitat loss, but then also right. uh, an unhealthy ecosystem. So are they, are they showing off now? Are they happy upside down? Like they this? are. Yeah. Bats it's actually doesn't have blood to rush to their down. head. Uh -huh. It doesn't. They don't weigh enough for gravity to have that effect mm -hmm. on them. I so, like so with this white uh, nose syndrome. You yeah. think this could be the tip of the iceberg? It could be okay. This the tip of the this, nose. This fungus is first right. affecting bats, and that's how it's uh, manifesting itself. Next thing you know, it could go up the food chain. Well, the other issue is is that if it spreads even farther, it, it has spread in two years. It spread from one state, New York, to nine states. Wow. Um, and bats actually, if it spreads across the whole United States, both ecologically and especially economically, because the amount of moths and beetles that right. they eat. Now worldwide, though, bats like these giant bats. Did you want to hold them? Why not? Oh, so good. Don't drop him. <gasps> what what do I hold on to? Hold on to his foot. Wings. There we go. Perfect. And what he's doing right now is he's echolocating, too. And so he's making sounds. There we go. He's making sounds. You're okay. This guy's making yeah. sounds. Okay. So right now. You can take it no, back. you're doing great. You can take it back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't believe that. That's like a dare. Okay. okay. So the sounds that he's making is the way that they get around. They're not blind. But bats use echolocation to get like, around. Like radar, sonar, yeah. something like yeah. that. But the bats that we have around here, um, unfortunately, sometimes they end up living in people's houses. And really, one of the best right. things that people can do is put up a bat house. Um, and you might be interested because they eat tons uh -huh. of insects, but right. also they uh, might get into your house. So, so we've uh, had them in our attic. Yeah, exactly. Right. So a bat house gives them somewhere to live. You put we, it up high. But sure. Rob, how do you know if, the if they're uh, good or evil? Like, they look <laughs> evil. I mean, that looks good, that looks evil. Yeah. Well, She's able to tell the same thing about you. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is the largest bat right. in the entire world right here. Right here. Her name wow. is Camilla. Uh, Camilla is a giant flying oh, no. fox. Let's oh, see if we can stretch out gosh. her wings a oh, little bit gosh. for you. Oh, okay. More. Time to go, Rob. <laughs> yeah, um, and they're, important. <laughs> they're important because they spread seeds in the rainforest, and they also pollinate. If you like bananas, cashews, or tequila, we owe him a favor. Bats are important for all right. bats. Okay. I'll drink to that. All right. All right. Rob Myers, uh, we thank you very much for driving these bats. He drove all the way from Michigan with these bats in tow. Just That's why we gave you 25 minutes. <laughs> all right, thanks. All right, thanks. thanks a lot. Right. Thanks. Good job. Are Take them with you, please. I will. Please. Okay, good. I'll leave the one for... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that 10 seconds was enough.